morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Monday, the 21st day of February 2022, Monday of the seventh week of the year, the seventh week of ordinary time. Uh, there was only one more Sunday of ordinary time, of winter ordinary time this year, uh, then two more days until Ash Wednesday. Uh, but coming to you once again uh, from the shore, from the beach, uh, uh, in Rachel Beach uh, again uh, this morning, uh, it is the uh, priest assembly that is beginning uh, today and lasting until Wednesday. Uh, I think it's the first priest assembly, or it may be one that hasn't happened in a while. Uh, the priests of the diocese are gathering here. Um, where? No. Yes, yeah. Yes, there is. The blockade runner, right behind me, a little over there. The blockade runner, a uh, resort, uh, to be able to discuss uh, some future endeavors and the future uh, direction of the Diocese of Raleigh uh, with Bishop Luis. Uh, so, kind of his first major uh, gathering uh, to talk about the uh, direction in which the diocese is going uh, since he arrived in 2017. Uh, so, uh, again, this great five-year uh, turn, this five-year move uh, that, uh, that, that uh, Bishop Luis is so um, the priests are all here, uh, and, and, or they're coming here today, and we'll be here until Wednesday uh, in, in meetings and conference and things like that. Uh, so, um, but it is the beach, and it is nice, and it's wonderful to be here. So, um, the readings for today, uh, the first reading, again, letter of James, uh, just continues uh, again. Uh, the, uh, the, the, wis the, the wisdom that James gives in today's readings is wisdom itself, uh, speaking of where wisdom comes from, um, or that, and what wisdom leads to. Wisdom leads to humility. Um, if there is no humility in wisdom, the head isn't wisdom, it's arrogance. Um, which is a very interesting kind of um, uh, dichotomy between the two things. Um, arrogance is wisdom without humility. Uh, and the sense of that kind of lack of humility can often uh, raise questions that are not uh, easily answerable or, or conclusions that are detrimental and harmful to us as human beings. Uh, as James goes on to say, the wisdom that comes from God, the wisdom that is only wisdom itself, uh, is that which brings peace, it brings understanding, um, it brings calm, it brings serenity, um, it brings a way, uh, to, it navigates a way through the ups and downs of life, through uh, life's challenges and life's disappointments. The wisdom that comes from God helps us to see clearly, it helps us to understand more and more what it is that God uh, is doing with us, even in these times that are most difficult. Um, that kind of wisdom, the wisdom that we yearn for, the wisdom that we pray for, the wisdom we as believers hope uh, give in evidence to the world. In the gospel today, uh, we did not come. We didn't come together on sun, on Saturdays because St. Francis didn't have anything on Saturday except for masses in the evening. Uh, but uh, it would have been the Transfiguration account from Mark's gospel. Um, and uh, what it, what the reading is today, the continuation of that is Jesus and the disciples, Peter, James, and John, coming down from the mountain, and they're met with this um, great mob that is arguing and screaming and yelling and what they're doing because again, there's another demon because there's always demons in Mark's gospel, and here's another one who possesses a boy. It says, and the boy is moot. Uh, and the boy, uh, mute and the boy cannot, uh, he forms the mouth and he cannot stand up straight, he gets thrown to the ground and things like that. Um, epileptic fits, whatever, you know, it is, uh, they try to help the boy and they can't. Um, and Jesus kind of gets angry at that. And um, it's interesting that Jesus gets angry at their inability to help the boy. Uh, because again, what it demonstrates, what it says is that we possess something inside of us that can help. Uh, that can make this better, and yet they don't know how to use it, they don't use it well, or they're using it incorrectly or whatever it is, and Jesus just, just gets fed up with it all. Um, and so Jesus then basically uh, dispels the demon um, and saying basically that, that anything is possible for God, um, uh, or anything is possible with prayer, with faith. You know, and the thing is that he's saying these people who are trying to help this boy uh, don't really have faith. Uh, they're trying to manipulate things, they're trying to do magic, they're trying to do something. Uh, but it isn't working. Um, and Jesus is able to finally uh, release the boy from whatever pain and suffering he is suffering, he is experiencing. Um, and the disciples ask, why couldn't they do that? And Jesus says, well, this is something that can only be done through prayer, which is kind of cryptic and mysterious or whatever it is. But, um, but, but I think it's, it's the sense, you know, in, in which um, how we understand what is really a part of us, how we understand what is true about us. Again, that wisdom that only comes from God that resides within us is something that can only be experienced through prayer. The experience be experienced through that time of peace and, and, and separation and, and trying to uh, make sure that uh, we give ourselves time to reflect and to meditate and to think about just what we are capable of. Um, if we just keep running around like, like chickens with our heads cut off or something like that, um, nothing can be accomplished, nothing can actually be uh, done that will be for our benefit. Uh, through prayer comes that wisdom that only comes from God, that brings understanding, uh, that allows us to see life in its fullness, to be able then to reach out through that fullness to those who need our help. Lord, give you his peace.